The first trams in Sheffield were built out in the 19th century, during the Industrial Revolution, much like the rest of the country. The first trams, like the rest of the country, were operated using horse-drawn trams, with the first services beginning in 1873, and from then grew to become a large network, connecting the centre of Sheffield to the surrounding suburbs providing transit links. Unlike other places like Halifax, the city chose not to adopt steam as a propulsion system for their tram network, and rather the Sheffield Corporation subsequently decided, after they took over, that the electrification of the system using overhead cables was the best decision. Because the national grid had not been formed at this point, the corporation decided that it would supply its own electricity and eventually became the main supplier to the city. With the source of electricity sorted, they then began to convert their lines to facilitate electric trams instead, and by the end of 1905, the majority of the network was electrified. But because of the First World War, materials became scarce, and thanks to continued progress in bus technology, the outlying districts received bus services instead. But unlike most cities that ditched their networks in the interwar period, the Sheffield Corporation stayed steadfast with their trams. The corporation had considered the conversion and usage of trolleybuses instead throughout the city, but ultimately they couldn't see the advantage of switching the current system, and the network was actually extended during the interwar period. Though after the Second World War, the push to change systems became too great, as nearly all the networks across the country, the new buses with their flexibility and cheap operational costs were simply the better option, and so in 1951 the decision was made to replace the network with buses entirely, and while residents demonstrated against the decision, ultimately they couldn't stop it. Supertram emerged in the city from the South Yorkshire Passenger Transport Executive, which had been given the task of public transport coordination in Sheffield and the surrounding areas. They took and refined old proposals for a light rail system in the city to create their plans for Supertram and then presented their vision of the plans in several bills to Parliament to gain the necessary powers, which they eventually gained. Then, in 1990, financial approval was given to the project worth 240 million that would fund the initial tram line. The initial tram line was opened in phases, and the first section was built upon an old heavy freight line and was fully opened in 1994, though the line was brought into question as many residents would get the cheaper and more frequent buses anyways, but the operation of Super Tram was failing and the council brought in consultants to deal with the issues, eventually leading to the privatisation of the network and subsequent sell-off. The councils had hoped that they could accumulate around £80 million to aid in paying off debt, but the network was then bought by Stagecoach for a mere £1.15 million. Since the takeover, the system has experienced ups and downs in passenger uses, mainly due to external factors and the quality of service improvements on the trams, with passenger usage peaking at 15 million in the 2011-2012 period. But then, the combined parties interested began to research and explore the possibility of using tram trains to expand the network and run services to Rotherham, and to that end, they succeeded. Using part of the National Rail Network, tram trains were developed that could run using the line and were opened in 2018, providing tram links to Rotherham, dubbed Supertram. And since then, the tram network hasn't been expanded further, but continues to provide services to the people of Sheffield and Rotherham. So, what are the future plans for the tram network in the city? Unfortunately, Sheffield, as of yet, doesn't have any concrete plans for the expansion of its tram network. In their transport strategy document for the period 2019 to 2025, they outlined that while the inclusion of new lines is one of their aims, that it would take at least 10 years to develop plans and build them out. And as of my research, they haven't identified nor researched any new routes for the tram network. Furthermore, they highlight that Supertram needs extensive maintenance and without support from central government, this would be a major setback and failure for the city. In conclusion, Sheffield has been able, against the odds, to foster a tram system that has supported the urban centre of the city and demonstrates that it's possible to do, but also stands as a warning to other systems about poor management and organisation, with the mention about funding for Supertram. And personally, I think that Supertram is such an exemplar example and case study for other cities in the UK thinking about implementing tram trains that it would be a terrible mistake to let Supertram fail. So here's hoping that it all goes well for Supertram. 
Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, why not subscribe and have a great day.